Okay, so here we go. We have the Polaris slingshot, peg, pergo, perigo, however you want to pronounce it, French, little tilde, whatever. I don't know. Peg prego to me. Slingshot. We're doing a little unboxing. I've already ripped open the top. It comes nice and glued and tight. We're going to open up the little flanges here. This box is huge. As you can see, I'm about 5'11", and it comes almost up to my shoulders. So, inside, we have a red, slow red. Sorry, slow red, fellas. But uh, they had to give you something since the gray ones are faster, and they made up for it with this. Slingshot in here. Let's move this backwards. Let's see if we can get this out in one nice giant piece. All right, so another piece of cardboard. Oh, it is kind of heavy. Probably weighs about, I don't know, 60 pounds or so. All right, and looks like we have some building to do. But that's all right, because I wanted these panels off anyways. So that way, we can decal this bag grill up. Oh, and unlike the picture on the box where it comes with a white sticker, we get to change ours. Probably purple, purple and red, that'll go. Comes nicely wrapped. Wish Polaris on the real ones would have thought about this, so that way uh, maybe we wouldn't have had so much waves in the 2015 editions. But that's okay, we'll make do. Hood comes off separately, maybe that's where the battery goes, I'm not sure yet, we'll get into it later when we start building. Nice little piece of bubble wrap the kids can smash later. Everything comes on a fold out piece of cardboard, looks like it's been uh, cellophane wrapped and sealed up. All your parts, you got your mirrors right there which is awesome because then we can make some little templates to uh, decal those up. Looks like uh, maybe that's the charger, I'm not sure. Dash panel right here, screw pack, uh, roll hoops for the top, look like that's right down in there. Oh, actually, here's the roll hoops right here. Uh, steering wheel, uh, it's not an Alpha JRI, sorry, but it might make do. Since this comes off separately, hey, maybe that's a good idea, but hint, hint, Harry. Okay, anyways. Shock probably goes in the back. Maybe these ones are for the side. I don't know. We'll figure that out in the instructions later. Lay that off to the side. Instructions are in there too. Cool. All right. All right. Windshield. Didn't have to pay extra for this one, just like on the regular slingshots. That's nice. Decal pack, which we could probably just throw away or maybe scan and make some new ones for. That's an idea before we pop these in. Uh, for those who like chrome, you know. Mr. Bill, got some chrome stickers in here, probably for the hood pieces, not too sure. We won't follow that scheme on the box. All right, so there's your sticker pack. A uh, little shifter, oh, look, this must be maybe the dash part. Goes right there, possibly. Who knows, we'll get into that. Oh, uh, actually, that looks like a little hole. Oh, this looks like it goes right here. That'll be the little holder. Yep, matter of fact, look at that. There it is. All right, we'll get to that later. Okay, so let's move this bad girl out and try not to break it up. It's nice and uh, the bottom piece here, I'm gonna grab it. There's the bottom. You can get a good idea of what it looks like underneath, all around. Like I said, this piece right here is probably about 35, 40 pounds. Undone. It looks like the battery is in there already, or maybe that's just the uh, motor. Not sure. Here's some little clamps right here, it looks like. Just twist those little bad boys. Maybe this seat comes out. Hmm. All right, well, we'll read the instructions and play with it later and see how that goes. I'm not sure yet. If we leave it like that, what do you think? Like this? Oh. It's looser that way. Nope. It did seem to be looser this way. Okay. Well, either way, we'll figure it out. Little shifter right here. First gear. Flip that around for the kids that want to go faster, maybe. Or just take it off. Actually, you got to unscrew it to take it off. So that way they can put it in third gear. So if this does come screwed in just so that you could stay only in first gear. So there's first, reverse. All right. Now, back here, we got the four-wheel conversion kit already. What? Uh-oh. Just kidding, guys. 
They did send it with a four wheel conversion. It is a three wheeler, but for the little kitties, we got to give them that extra training wheel. So maybe when they grow up and get older, they can take that off. All right, it looks like this comes already all symbol, assembled together. Some folks were saying maybe the uh, axle nuts might be a little loose. They feel more than finger tight, but uh, we'll give them another torquing here later on. This is the rear motor, so it's ready to go. That must be the battery inside there, so that's ready to go. Looks like maybe somehow this just snaps onto there. We'll figure it out. Bottom of the box. Bottom of the box, we have way down in here, deep down inside, some front wheels. Nice and bubbly wrapped, ready to go. Some folks were saying on the forum, go ahead and cut a 14 inch piece of tire for like your bicycle. Probably pick it up at Wally World, where we got this from for the low, low price of 198 bucks. Thank you for that screw up. Whoever was in charge of that, we appreciate you. Uh, Definitely not a cap, definitely not that because that's hexed, so we'll figure out where those go later. There is another one down inside here, as well as a little white piece of something. Who knows what that goes to. Let's see if we can get that out. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. My wife's going to love coming home seeing this scattered all over the floor, but I really don't care. That's what you get for working late. All right, a little white piece of something. We'll figure out if that's anything that looks like it's probably nothing. And then deep down inside, probably just for bracing, it looks like some more hard glass or cardboard. Now, you got a beautiful box, empty. You open this during Christmas time and let the kids, they'll probably play with this more than they will with that. So keep the box. All right, this is it in pieces. As you can see, we got the main portion. We got Two front wheels it looks like. The rear wheels are already assembled, ready to go. We got the hood off to where we can apply our own decals if that's what we'll be doing. I think we'll make a little sticker pack of our own from JM Design Style. The little Polaris front bumper, ready to go. That looks nice and neat. I love it. I think it's awesome. I'm gonna try and figure out how to fit my fat ass in here. All right. And then of course, we got this all nice and solid thing together. Hopefully uh, it won't be too hard to put together. I'm going to entrust my 14-year-old uh, to do it for me while I go and drink a beer and take a nap. All right, so there it is, the unboxing of the Peg Perigo, however you want to pronounce it, slingshot from uh, Wally World for the low, low price of $198 for those takers who were able to get it on time or early during that little screw-up. Okay, you guys have a good night. We'll do another video after it's all complete.